the final battle against the Puppet Master. In my opinion, this is the best battle Prodigy has ever made. It is the most unique and most exciting and most challenging battle we have had to face in Prodigy thus far. And several weeks after this battle being released in Prodigy, people are still questioning, how do you defeat the Puppet Master? There are still plenty of people who are struggling to do this because they may not know the best ways to go about winning this battle. So in this video, I'm going to try my best to provide as many tips as I can to help you defeat the Puppet Master if you have not already. So please enjoy this video and I hope it helps you defeat the Puppet Master. Alright, so tip number one. Be the highest level that you can be in Prodigy. And that is obviously level 100. You want to be level 100 because you will have the best um, base stats in the game, such as health, power, defense, and speed. That's the best you can get from the base health. So being level 100 really helps and improves your chances of winning. If you are not level 100, I would suggest going and playing until you do reach level 100 along with your pets. So it may take a while, but you need to be patient and go with the process. While it is possible to win this battle while you are under level 100, as I said, being level 100 improves your chances greatly, so this is a very important tip to keep in mind. Tip number two, use your best pets. And generally, these best pets you want on level 100 just like your wizard, and you also want pets with high health, because if you don't, the Puppet Master can take them out pretty easily. So you want pretty high health in your pets, and you want good power too, of course, and just good stats in general. So in my battle that I won, I used Splash and Spark and Bark Baryon, which of course that isn't what you have to use if you prefer other pets and do better with them, you can. Physical spells are going to be weak against the Puppet Master, but they actually do a lot more damage because the Puppet Master has so much defense that spells don't do that much damage on him, so the physical spells still do a good deal amount a good amount of damage instead of the other spells. So it's not a terrible trade but you can choose whatever pets you want as long as they are pretty good and have as good of stats as you can and be at level 100 of course that's what you really want tip number three have the best gear in prodigy at this current moment the best gear in prodigy is what is shown on the screen right now the titan power set has the highest bonuses out of all the items in the game, and since there are no Titan Power Boots, the highest pair of boots is the Duelist Boots. The Duelist Boots, I am pretty sure, you cannot get at this current moment, although they may become obtainable in the near future, since so many other things are becoming obtainable. But you can get the Titan Power Set. It costs a lot of Titan Shards, but it can be gotten by non-members, which is good for all of you non-members out there. And you can use this to your advantage because it has the highest, they have the highest stat bonuses. But I would actually not recommend using the Titan Power Katana because it has a strong physical spell, Sever, but it is going to be weak against the Puppet Master. The wand I would actually suggest using, or wands because you might not have this, the Cosmic Sword is going to be the best option here because it has the spell Comet, which is the best astral spell in the game, and it will do a good deal of damage on the Puppet Master. If you don't have the Cosmic Sword, the second best is going to be either the Ancient Wizard Wand or the Dual Blade, 
and you can buy the dual blade in the Lamplight Town wand shop right now, which is good. You can go ahead and do that if you don't already have it. That's probably your best bet. And you want to use either of those two wands if you don't have the Cosmic Sword, because they all have good astral spells. The, co the Cosmic Sword has Comet, and the Ancient Wizard wand and Dual Blade both have Starburst, which are the two best astral spells in the game at this current moment. So that is what you want to use against the Puppet Master, who is weak against astral. Now that we've cleared that out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about tips in the actual battle. So the Puppet Master will use some really unique and cool spells on you, such as taking one of your own pets and putting it on his team. When you have this happen to you, it will happen during the battle. When you have this happen, you do not want to hit your own pet. Try as hard as you can to not hit your pet because it will be returned to you in a couple of turns and you don't want to have hearts taken out on your pet by your own doing so that is what you want to do there you want to hit the puppet master not your pet not your teammate and one of the main reasons why you want pets with high health is because the puppet master does usually a lot of damage and if you can hold up your health at least until Newt uses his healing powers to fully restore your team, you really want to have your full team to be restored. You don't want one of your team members to be taken out because if you do, you won't have them restored. It'll only be the team members that you have remaining. So you only want well, you, I, I say that, but you can use whatever pets that suits you best. But pets with high health really help on that aspect because Newt's healing powers really help at different points in the battle. And depending on your luck during the battle, the Puppet Master will use a healing spell that will give him 1,000 hearts back. This will seem pretty, um, it'll not make you feel very good as you just lost like 1,000 of the hearts that you did on the Puppet Master, but try not to worry too much. It shouldn't affect too much if you stay alive, but it is really difficult if the Puppet Master does do this. It won't happen every time because the luck in the battle changes, but it... Just watch out for that and don't be too discouraged when it happens, because you can always try again. That is another tip, please don't be too discouraged if you fail, because the luck in the battle is constantly different, not every battle goes the same way. So if you keep on trying, you should eventually succeed and defeat the Puppet Master. It's just how it works. The same spells are not used every battle. You sometimes have different pets remaining that you didn't in the previous battle, and other such examples. So don't be discouraged if you lose the first few battles. Okay, that is pretty much all I really had to say. I tried to put it in the most condensed and easiest to understand form that I could, so I hope it was easy to comprehend. This video may not exactly help you with winning, but it gives you the best tips when to use when battling the Puppet Master and gives you the highest chance of winning. So if you follow the tips that I talked about in this video, you should be able to defeat the Puppet Master at some point. But if you have questions over what I talked about in this video or what I didn't talk about in this video, Please don't hesitate to ask me in the comments, I will be glad to answer any of the questions that you may have. So again, I hope this video helps, and I hope you are able to succeed in defeating the Puppet Master if you have not already. Good luck to everyone who is attempting this. 
So what do you think about the final battle against the Puppet Master? Do you think that it is the coolest battle that Prodigy has provided us with so far? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comments.